One question I get asked the most as a former professional quarterback is, what coverage did you like throwing against? Is it cover one, cover two, cover three? And over the course of your career as a quarterback, oftentimes that changes. I'm going to tell you what I like most and why, and we'll diagram it from my NFL playbook, coming up in quarterback training right now. Hey everybody, welcome to Elite Athletes TV. I'm Mike Pulaski, former 11-year pro quarterback. And today we're going to be talking about coverages. But first, if you're new to the channel, make sure that you subscribe and ring that bell. That way you get notified every time we have new videos coming out. Leave me a comment down below if there's anything you'd like to know about the game or if you have any comments on what I'm doing. I'd love to hear from you. And give me a thumbs up if you're ready to learn about coverages and how quarterbacks should read them. When people ask me what coverage I like to throw against... It varied over the course of my career. When I was young in high school, and I had, I like my guys, my receivers, but they weren't the fastest guys in the world, I liked throwing against zone coverage because I understood where they were going to be, I understood where the holes were going to be, and I could throw against them. Now, I didn't know the game in high school. I wasn't, I wasn't well-versed in the game. I ran a wing T set. And so seeing open space and kind of going through a progression – was way easier for me at that point without having any formal teaching at the quarterback spot. And so I felt safer versus zone coverage. I felt like I could complete passes versus zone coverage. And oftentimes we were throwing hitches or out routes. And so when I would see cover three out there with an open flat, I could throw a hitch, I could throw an out route. I felt really comfortable about it. Then getting to college, I brought some of that with me. And I liked throwing against zone coverages. If I saw cover three or cover two, I knew where the holes were going to be. And as I started to understand coverage better and get a sense of it as a quarterback, I anticipated better versus zone coverage. Now, especially cover two teams when you can go vertical with routes. I really like throwing at cover two. But then as my game progressed and I understood it and my receivers got better, they got faster, they got more athletic, and I had three really good ones uh, in college, I had Brian Traggs, who got into and out of an out route faster than any receiver I've ever seen, played in the NFL. I had Sean Dawkins, who was a phenomenal physical specimen, 6'3", 200 pounds, could run like a deer, uh, would just get open, physical guy, would catch the football. Uh, he played forever in the NFL. And then I had Mike Caldwell, who was a fantastic inside slot type receiver who I knew I could count on to get open, to find open holes, or to figure out a way versus man. Once I had those kind of tools, then I really got to love to throw against man coverage. And the reason for that is, and the reason it changes, is when you have talent on your side to match up against man coverage, a receiver knows where they're going and can anticipate with the route. As a quarterback in man coverage, and there's a couple of different variations, but if they're playing cover one or cover zero, which we're going to talk about today, then they can get open versus man, and you can throw it on the break and you don't have to worry about other defenders in your zone. Now, zone blitz, some other things, changes that equation. But if you know you have pure man, if you know you got blitz coverage and guys are coming, you know you can get rid of it on the break and they can take it off the top. So, like I said, today we're going to talk about cover zero. Now they call it cover zero. But I'm going to show you from my old NFL playbook, they hadn't changed that naming convention to where every coverage had to do with how many guys were deep. And so in my NFL playbook, they call it blitz coverage. In my college playbook, they call it cover nine. We're going to take a look at it. I'm going to talk through it, show you a couple of different variations and how it changes things up and tell you why I love throwing against it. Let's hit the playbook. So this is out of my Tampa Bay Buccaneers playbook circa 1992. And you can see here before they started calling it cover zero, they called it blitz coverage. And so... In blitz coverage, it's actually dog coverage because none of the secondary is coming. I just did a video on blitz versus dog, and if you haven't seen it, I'll put it up in the top corner of the screen, and you can check that out. It'll also be in the comment section down below. But you have man here, strong safety man on tight end. In this case, they're in 21 personnel, two backs, one tight end. And so you have Mike manned up on the fullback, free safety slid over, manned up on the H, corner manned up on the X. And so that's pretty simple, pretty basic man coverage. They're bringing dog with the peg, the will, and the Sam linebackers. And so applying pressure in this case with six and covering with five. Now, 
That said, if we go down below, this is when it actually gets into blitz coverage. With the strong safety blitz, and I'll show you this later on in my college playbook, they call it a rifle blitz. You get the same thing on the outside. Corners manned up on the outside. And free safety now is going to slide. You see him sliding over the top here. And he's going to cover down man on the Y. What that does is it frees up that strong safety to come off the edge. Now Sam can come inside. The will or whip in this case is manned up on the H out of the back and peg still coming. Now there could be different variations of this. This is obviously just one way to draw it up. You could have peg cover over on H. You could have will coming off the outside as well. And so there's a bunch of different ways to do this. Oftentimes when teams get into a, that 46 or bear defense look, they'll slide these guys down over guards. Sam will be on the outside, put the strong safety or that I be the inside player in here, and they'll bring both those guys off that edge as well. And so oftentimes in bear, you'll see this blitz as their all-out blitz. Free safety comes down. All these guys are coming. And as a quarterback, hold on to your hat. Find your open guy in a hurry. Oftentimes you're going to be throwing your quicks your hots, your alerts, whatever you call it in your system. But versus that blitz, again, they're trying to bring more guys than you have to protect. And again, right here, free safety or fire blitz, this time coming in that A gap. Mike's coming, Peg's coming, strong safety, manned up down here. And then probably a green dog with that Sam backer locked up on the outside. And that is your blitz coverage as we documented it in the 92 Tampa Bay Buccaneers playbook. These corners can be down in press, too. They don't have to be up high. Generally speaking, in cover zero, you get that picket fence look where everybody is straight across the board. You can tell man because you're going to be able to see body language on the corners. They're going to be oftentimes inside leverage, looking at the receiver. They're not going to be staring into the ball unless they're really confident and really good at disguising coverage. But they'll be inside leverage. They'll be staring very intent on their receiver. Same thing with the safeties. Linebackers give it away with their eyes big time. They're staring down that back because they know that they got a mismatch in terms of speed. They want to be able to make a break on that first move by the back. And so that's how you recognize it. Body language, alignment, and positioning. But when you get four kind of straight across back here, nobody deep, this is all open. Generally speaking, you know you've got blitz coverage as it's written here, what we nowadays call cover zero. Now let's take a look at my college playbook. So now here in my Cal college playbook, this is more accurate. It's still called cover nine because they don't have the convention of how many people are deep yet. But you see here, they call it dog coverage. Nobody's deep or free. And it's dog coverage, which is actually what it is, because linebacker on a dog, linebacker on a dog, Mike is manned up here, Sam dog, and then strong safety, man over tight end, and man on the outside. And so they're bringing linebacker pressure. As a result, this is a dog coverage, but we called it cover nine. All-out blitz pressure, all-out blitz coverage, nobody deep. When I was in college, and again, see nobody back here, we called cover nine. Let's go to the next page. Here you have a couple different looks at what they can do out of that cover nine. So rifle plus D. So that's rifle blitz. Strong safety in this case is being denoted as the rifle. He's coming off that outside. And this is the same thing I was talking about before when they get down to that 46. They can do it from a different alignment down in the front here. But free safety again, sneaking over the top. And then you get a Sam dog, a Will dog. And then you're playing inside, outside with your Mike and Bill, depending on who comes to their side. Corners always locked up. Corners locked up on the widest guys. That's just what happens in cover zero blitz coverage. Now, in this case, this is a crash plus. And plus D is, again, plus dog. With a slot to the wide field, single tight back in. Again, 21 personnel, two backs, one tight end. This time, because it's two backs, one tight end, and because you've got a tight end in the game, when this corner sneaks over, they're generally 
not going to spend a corner on a tight end. Physically, that's a mismatch for the defense. And so as a quarterback or as a coach, that should give you a heads up that this guy's probably coming. As you see that free safety sneak over the top to cover down, now you know he's definitely coming. So this is the crash, corner crash blitz right here. And then on the outside, strong safety, man on the slot, corner, man on the outside receiver. These guys will play at, as you can see here, two different levels so that they can't use pick routes to try to pick them off as they work across. Then the last one, fire A, we saw that in the NFL playbook. It's the free safety through that A-gap blitz. Again, just locked up man straight across the board. And you can see in all of these, what you see is straight across coverage. In this case, they could try to disguise it as cover one, and free safety could sneak over late. But that corner, if he's coming, will likely be sneaking down on the line. Now, here is a look. This is USC on this side from a couple years ago, Cal on this side. And you can see this is third or fourth and really short. And so Cal coming up in that cover zero, everybody tight, blitz coverage, nobody deep back here. There's a quarterback that definitely gives it your way. Now, SC is playing 22 personnel here. And so you can see they pack the box. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and a half guys in that box, and then singled up man on the outside. And so that's cover zero all day long, obviously short yardage, big guys inside, and I guarantee you Cal's bringing pressure. But that's really depictive of what cover zero looks like as a quarterback. You just see a bunch of bodies here. You can anticipate pressure, and what you want to do is find that mismatch or the, the route that you feel comfortable with that's going to get open now. So that's a look at cover zero. And like I said, over the course of my career, I grew from liking to throw against zone because I felt comfortable to really loving to throw against cover zero. I knew if I got that one mismatch, I could put that ball up early and let somebody make a play. And it is potentially to the house. If you like what I'm doing here, give me a thumbs up. I would appreciate it. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, ring the bell, and that way you get notified every time we have new content coming out. Also, any questions, I'd love to hear from you. Leave them down in the comment section below, and let's talk football. I want to help you understand the game better or just have a good time with it. We've had some really good questions lately, and so we're going to be making some videos about those coming up soon. Now you should understand Cover Zero better, Blitz coverage, or like in my college days, Cover Nine, and have a sense for what it looks like on the field. Whether you're a quarterback, coach, or fan, seeing Cover Zero can be exciting because either the defense is going to make a big play or the offense is going to make a big play. And they are throwing everything at you on defense, and the offense has to figure it out in one spot. As a quarterback, you grow to love throwing against cover zero when you get enough quarterback training in, and you can throw accurate balls. Appreciate you watching. I will talk to you again soon.